I am Christophe Leray. I am the Global Marketing Director for Yumicor's business unit, Precious Metal Chemistry. My role is uh, to promote um, our activities in the life science fields, as well as electronics and all the markets where we are present. I am leveraging for that on our approach to um, customer uh, supplier relationship, but with a collaborative approach, which is um, visible in our slogan, let's go create. I'm also enab uh, enabling this cooperation uh, by offering the benefits of working on a sustainable manner with our customers. I think when uh, we are trying to apply a new technology, the main challenge is the novelty of the technology. Um, and if I look at uh, what's happening when we uh, develop a new drug, there is generally enough time in the development process to apply a new technology and to start from the bench and go to commercial at the time and the speed of the development of a drug. If I look at a um, um, drug that is becoming generic, we also have enough time to do the same. What is blocking is generally people who have other priorities and do not want to take that risk. So the way we circumvent that is that um, we work with people who are also uh, driven by innovation and support them with the right technologies, but also the right resources to make sure that if the technology doesn't develop fast enough or goes the wrong way, we can um, go back on track. Um, I will concentrate on uh, what are the challenges on uh, developing or producing metal-based um, high-potency APIs, which is where Yumiko is an expert. Um, uh, most of uh, the, um, the issue is because you use uh, precious metal, then we have to have uh, the right ways and processes to track the use of uh, metal and track the waste streams to make sure we don't lose it because it's an expensive part. Um, one of the other challenges is these uh, highly potent um, molecules, they are also generally very toxic and uh, this is something that we can um, also handle. Um, and we have experience into, uh, in doing so. We can also handle, and that's something we learn from the other chemistries that we do, we have uh, um, experience in handling uh, pyrophoric or uh, difficult to handle materials. Another aspect uh, that is co also coming from our um, press metal activities, this is that we are capable of analyzing very uh, precisely the metal content, but also um, the impurities. And uh, because we are also present in the electronic field, we have also expertise in uh, analyzing, analyzing a very low level of impurities going to uh, PPB level, for instance. Uh, I would answer to, uh, to that question with two words, think sustainable. Um, and to explain you that, I, I can also take two examples. So one is uh, um, a pharma company who is um, having a process using a palladium catalyst, um, where the palladium, after it's, going to, it's been used, is um, uh, separated from the end product in a, in a uh, high diluted solution. And we have, because everybody knows that uh, palladium uh, is expensive and needs to be uh, recovered, so it's a given that we will do that. Um, we are just uh, feeling un un uncomfortable with um, wasting that much solution as well. So we work with a customer to look at could we do it better and uh, we found as a way to um, concentrate the solution, recover the, uh, the palladium and also recycle the solvent. At the end we are more sustainable, instead of burning uh, the solvent in the recycling uh, process we can reuse it and we also uh, cost competitive because it's cheaper than buying new solvent. Um, I would have another example, that's a company that has decided to use uh, the new metathesis technology in its process because it's enabling it to reduce the synthesis of 50% and also to increase the yield of 50%. So it's really, here these are um, two examples where the, the teams managing these processes have taken this concept of trying to make things better and more sustainable 
Uh, now, if I, if I would speak to um, senior management in pharma, I would say openly think sustainable uh, and look at incorporating uh, the United Nations uh, sustainable development uh, goals in the strategy because it's bringing benefits. One is, of course, that for a pharma company that wants to uh, make people uh, healthy again, uh, bringing sustainability and making the world better goes well together. And the second is being sustainable is also bringing more profits and more benefits to the company. Um, so, so the most exciting developments we had uh, within Umicore in the pharma field, that was uh, really the launch of um, the uh, Nile Azari technology. And it developed uh, palladium-based uh, cross-coupling technology that is pushing the boundary of uh, Buchwald uh, technology on a way that you can, um, when you do a screening, so when you have to select the catalyst that is working the best, you can really fine tune which type of uh, metal containing precursor and with which type of ligand you take. So you really uh, fine tune the activity and the selectivity. And when you go for scale up and commercial, then uh, the catalyst supplier can combine the two elements together and provide you the final ready to use catalyst that you easily pour in your uh, reactor and use in an easy way. Um, so, um, one way we expanded our portfolio is indeed the um, Hazari technology I just mentioned. And uh, we have also expanded our uh, pro uh, product portfolio in the field of cobalt. Um, these products, they are used in the electronic industry. Um, but I'm quite confident because cobalt is also a very interesting metal uh, for catalytic activities. I'm pretty confident that we will find someday some applications also in the field. We have actually interesting plans for uh, 2020 within Umicore. So globally, the company um, plan to uh, continue to expand in the field of electromobility. So with providing um, battery materials, uh, but also with uh, providing uh, fuel cells catalyst for the next generation of uh, clean cars. Um, and now if we look at uh, the pharmaceutical activities where we are also present, so we will go on with uh, pr uh, promoting uh, our new technologies such as Azari, but also Metatis, that is also new. And we will go on developing our competence in the um, metal-based API uh, fields.